Hey, I'm Shirley, and today I'm going to be doing a review on the Kira Kira Crate. This is my January box. Just got this in. Super excited. I loved my December box. Um, these are all beauty products. This is through Japan Crate. Um, it just tells you some of the things. Gives you a little details inside the little booklet that it comes with. That tells you, and of course, this is their only their third box. So I've gotten their first two, and I love them so far. Tells you the things you can do with certain makeups and everything like that. First things first that I get in here. Which I'm gonna peel this little sticker off. It's a hand cream. It's called Teapod Hand Cream, and it looks like there's three different ones in here. There's a lemon and <laughs> I can't even hold on to it. Rose, which is the one that I got. And it looks like some other kind. I think it's a, um, oh, a lemon tea. Oh, Earl Grey tea and Rose. So, let's see. Sealed up. I don't know. It's a pretty good size little tube also, so it's not too bad. It does smell like roses. <laughs> yeah. So if you're not into the rose scented things, then you're not going to like this. Um, not really into rose scented stuff. But it does have that strong rose scent to it. Not too bad. It does. It's not too bad of a hand cream, though little on the like greasy side a little bit. I don't know. It's not too bad, but hey, you get a full size of that. So, not too bad. The next thing you get, which I'm going to have a hard time figuring out until I open it up. Um, if I can feel the thickness and stuff. Too bad they didn't give you more of this. They give you a Shampoo and conditioner, the sample packs. Um, not sure which one's shampoo or which one's conditioner until I open them up. And I'm not going to do that now because I'm not using them yet. Um, <laughs> it's actually, it's, um, it's a shampoo and then a hair mask, which you leave on for like two to five minutes, which I usually leave conditioner on for that long anyway. Um, it says, did you know... Uh, okay, I can't even say this. It's the, the word. Um, rice bran has many great beauty benefits from brightening to cleansing. It's used, it's been used since ancient times in Japan to keep skin and hair beautiful. Makiba, or Mabika, sorry. I can't even, like I said, I'm sorry if I brutalize these words. Um, I can't pronounce half the stuff. Uh, Mabika is a leading brand that promotes nat nature-based products and is a key ingredient in their beauty line. Um, so I don't know. I don't know how that's going to be. Get a sample of that. Whew. Oh, this is super cute. You get a little bunny rabbit. And it's a lip gloss. Um, it says, it's a Dear Laura lip gloss. It's a subtle red. Um, this hydrating and plumping red lip gloss serum is perfect for holiday parties and for the cold winter weather, which it's cold out right now. Um, for moisturizing ingredients, shea butter, uh, sodium. Uh, Alright, there's a couple other extra things in here. Um, royal jelly extract to help make your lips look the best they can be. So, I don't know, let's open this and find out. It's super cute though. That's like the insert inside of it. A little bunny in there. It's a little bunny lipstick, lip gloss. All I can smell is the rose scented stuff on my hands. <laughs> 
gives you a little tinge. I'll put some on my hand so you can see it. Just don't want it getting all over my. It's a little, little jelly like. All right. Just don't want it to get all over my teeth and stuff. <laughs> Okay, the next thing, which I'm not too happy about either, it is, um, I mean, it's cute, but again, I don't use black eyeliner. Um, you get a Tweety Bird eyeliner. Super cute, though. I love the packaging, and I love all their cute character packages and stuff. Um, so cute. Um, I take it there's two of them. It looks like there's two. Uh, a black and a brown eyeliner. I got black. Which I don't use black eyeliner. So. It's super black, actually. And it's like the felt tip liquid eyeliner. Yeah, it's liquid eyeliner, felt tip. So I'm not even going to open this because I'm going to give this away to somebody. Um. Super cute though. I like the packaging. Just too bad I won't be using it. Oh well. Oh, the next thing I will definitely be using it is Red Wine by Pure Smile Essence Mask. I love face masks. Um, I just did another one actually last night and it was a peel off mask. Uh, my husband keeps saying so many masks that you're doing your skin's you're not going to have any skin by the time you're done. Well I have super oily skin and I've since I was a teenager I've had skin problems with like breakouts and stuff so I really want to keep up with that I like my skin clear like it is right now I get a blemish once in a while but I like to keep it clean and smooth and clear plus uh, age wise <laughs> so I like to uh, try to keep everything at bay um, he could be jealous all he wants. My skin looks better than his, but hey. Uh, anyway, these face masks, this is a sheet mask, actually. I use these, um, when I soak in a hot tub, a uh, hot bubble bath, actually. Um, because all the steam helps open up your pores, and the essence from the serum and essence and stuff like that, from these face masks, masks, can't speak today, sorry. <laughs> uh, from these face masks, help um, get into your skin and your pores and everything while they're open, and it helps your skin a lot better. So, super love these. Oh boy. Um, <clears throat> the next thing you get a pack, it's Bayou Shukan towels. You get a 20 pack of these. Um, it's just a little, the little, um, I'm not even sure. I'm going to cut this bag open here. Unless you use a new face towel every time you wash your face, there's a lot of bacteria that grow in your towel that you may not want in contact with your face. And these are perfect for traveling. This pack of this 20 disposable face towels are hygienic and convenient. They also save you the trouble of having to do extra laundry. Um, it says use to dry damp face. So it's basically regular. So this would be good actually when you're traveling. And it's just like a regular little, it almost looks like a tissue, the way the tissues are folded up. But it is a thin cloth. Um, it would actually be really good um, to use these when you travel and stuff so you're not using those nasty hotel um, towels and stuff on your face to dry, wipe your face off and dry your face off and everything because I, I do have reactions so I have to use certain things when I go, when I do travel and um, hotel towels are not one of them um, because it does seem like my face does want to break out every time if I've used one. So this is actually a good deal. Um, you can get 20 of those in this bag. Not bad. Um, the last thing you get in here 
It's called a hot gel mask. And this is a full-size tube also. Um, feel this. Oops. Nope. Not that sticker. Can't feel that one off. Um, it says, have you heard of half body bathing? Um, in Japan, soaking only the lower part of your body right below the chest is believed to be beneficial to your health and well-being. This is believed to help the, the digestive and detoxifying processes and can also be used to help reduce stress right before bed. So this would be good actually when I take my bubble bath, use my mask. Hey, um, this hot face gel mask is perfect for half body baths and can be applied to the face and the body to help increase blood circulation, relieve muscle aches, and reduce fluid retention. Sorry, my dog's barking in the background. Be quiet, Snog. It says, for the directions, apply to the face or upper body. So, basically up here. Um, you can also apply to both at the same time while in the bath. Um, so instead of using my other mask, I can use this one also. <clears throat> um, it says, for face, facial use, massage for up to 20 minutes. For body use, simply leave on for up to 20 minutes and then rinse off. So basically, I take it this warms up hot gel mask. Not sure. Let's see if I can get this little sticker off here. Oh, there we go. Never tried this, never heard of this product. And it is, it's it's a clear gel. It's a clear gel product. I'll put some on my hand and see if it warms up at all. And it is like a thick, like a thick gel. Uh, you can't see it on my hand. You can see the word shiny, though, on my hand. I don't know if you can see that or not. Oh, there we go. See where it's shiny? That's where the gel is. doesn't feel like it's warming up or anything. Yeah, nothing, really. I don't know. I'll have to try it out and see how it is. go from there. Um, but that is it for my January Cura Cura box. Um, again, I, you always get some things you like, some things you don't like. The only thing that um, I wasn't too, I mean, I don't mind the hand lotion. You can use that anytime, but I'll probably give that to somebody else. My mom or somebody. <laughs> Um, I'm not too big into the rose scented hand cream, anything rose scented. Um, again, the super cute packaging. Love the packaging and everything, but I don't like black eyeliner. Um, I don't wear black eyeliner. Uh, <laughs> so that'd be a giveaway to someone. Otherwise, shampoo and conditioner is always a good. Lip gloss is always good. Face mask is always good. I'll try these towels because I do have super sensitive skin. Um, a gel, hot gel mask. Sure, I'll try that one too. Not too bad. That is it. Um, I'll put all my information below and a link below. And so you guys can sign up for yours and give your own box a try. If you enjoyed my video, give me a thumbs up and subscribe below. Bye.